Jason, Mike Pima, Harnish Buick GMC. This is our silver 2007 Yukon Denali we talked about. Um, it's silver birch metallic, and uh, again, based on what we talked about yesterday, it is silver. It's not a champagne silver sort of thing, just a straight silver. I'm going to do a complete walk around Jason on the exterior of the car, point out features on the car. We'll go inside and do the same thing. Okay? Um, we looked the car over before we started the filming and um, it is in really good condition. We didn't see any scratches on it. There's a little bit of raindrops on there which um, doesn't always help. But we didn't see anything on the exterior. You know, there's a few little rock chips down here, but that's that's kind of normal. We've got these white tires on there. More on, that, more on that in a minute. But the body looks really good, but we'll walk around the whole thing. Now these are 22 inch aftermarket wheels and tires as you can see. They ca it came to us this way. The uh, owner who traded it into us put these on. The stock wheels on a Denali are 20s. So this one, these are 2 inches higher and also the, wa the tires are much wider. Anyway, uh, long Denali and a lot of chrome trim as you can see. Chrome side step. Now on the, uh, it's, uh, uh, this, behind this cover is set up a uh, factory tow package which includes hitch receiver, a uh, receptacle for trader lights, and an additional uh, transmission cooler. Now on a Denali, it's got a power lift gate. You just push the button and it opens. If it runs in, in, in any obstruction, it'll uh, close itself so nobody will get squished and nobody will get sued. Anyway, you just push that button and it opens. You can also do it with a key fob, Jason. And there's also a button on the overhead that'll open it. Now, to jog your memory, it's got middle bucket seats that are heated. That's standard equipment on a Denali. More on that in a minute. It's got a split bench seat, as you can see, with three seat belts. So the vehicle seats uh, two, four, seven passengers. The seats fold, um, the seats fold uh, up one and then also two. When the seats are down there's about a foot space here as you can see. When the seats are up maybe two and a half, three feet, something like that. Plus you can remove these seats. You just grab the handle, pull out. They weigh about 50 pounds. Okay? Now to close the lift gate you just push this button and down it goes. system and as we talked about it also has a rear vision backup camera and here's the camera for that more on that a little later the interruption we're doing some uh, yard work here today Jason anyway now these seats are what they call call power folding I'll show you that on the other side um, but let me do that Okay, on a Denali, Jason, uh, these seats uh, fold up uh, power. There's a button here on the uh, column. You just push that button, and they fold up really slick. So it allows access to the rear seat. The nice thing about buckets, you, without, you don't have to push the seat up. You can walk through the two seats to get back there, too. It, uh, you have to fold it down manually so nobody's foot gets squished and you're good to go. Okay. It has a um, DVD player. We talked about that. It's really cool. It comes with uh, two headphones so the persons watching the film don't bother the persons up front who are listening to the radio or aren't interested in listening to the movie. Let me jump in front. Okay, the interior is what they call um, uh, ebony. It's uh, leather seats. The seats are uh, heated and they're also uh, memory seats so passenger one can uh, set the seat position, the mirror position, the climate control system and um, whenever he or she gets in the car it'll go to those positions. 
Uh, navigation system, we talked about that. It's a touch screen, it's really cool. Uh, power sunroof. These buttons up here are the ones that open the lift gate, the sunroof, and also the they fold up the um, the rear seats we just talked about. Uh, radio buttons on the uh, steering wheel, it's a safety thing. Customer keeps their um, eyes on, or the driver keeps their eyes on the road. Now, a Denali has a 6.2 liter V8, and it has a six-speed transmission. And real quick, these buttons right here, this little plus and minus, if you tow with this guy, um, you can, and you're going down a long decline, you can put it in M, and you can gear up or gear down, and not use your brakes. Real good safety feature. Um, and it has OnStar, of course. OnStar is really cool. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but one of the things that's not talked about when you see an advertisement, it's got a remote diagnostic capability. So if you get a check engine light, you can just push the blue button, uh, describe what you know or what you think. The uh, OnStar operator can diagnose what's wrong with the car and uh, either direct you to a GM dealer or tell you that um, you shouldn't drive it, but really a nice feature that isn't always talked about. Anyway, that's our Denali. We're going to go get the stealth blue, stealth gray Yukon and film that one. Be right back. Jason, Mike Pena again. This is our 2008 GMC Yukon. The color is called Stealth Gray, but it's, you can see it's kind of a bluish gray. Very handsome color. Of all the colors that our cars come in, this is my favorite. Okay, we'll do the same thing. We'll walk around the car, describe what's going on here. Uh, we looked at the car again before we filmed it. Um, again, with some raindrops on there, we might, we might miss something, but we looked at it closely. Uh, it's got an aftermarket billet grill, real pretty. That's not standard. It has uh, 20 inch wheels, um, uh, figure eagles. I think the sock wheels are 18, so this was an option wheel. But plenty of tread here. These tires look like uh, almost, they look pretty new to me, Jason. Okay. Uh, this is the same size car as the Denali, as you probably know. It has a smaller engine, it has a 5.3 V8 versus a 6.2 for the Denali. To jog your memory, the Denali is a full-time all-wheel drive car. A Yukon is a two-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive. You just turn the button. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Uh, now this is an SLT model, so it has leather interior. It has a lot of other options that are very similar to a uh, Denali. Okay. Uh, same thing. That's the full package. Now it doesn't have a backup camera like the Denali does, but it has rear parking sensors. And uh, these, uh, as you may or may not know, if you're backing up, if there's an object uh, 8 feet away, 16 inches off the ground, it'll pick it up as you get closer to the object. There's uh, uh, chimes and there's also a little light bar that'll tell you when you get uh, close. When you're 12 inches for an object, it'll just uh, be a constant chime. Uh, you have to, this is a, uh, not a manual gate like the Nolly. Oh, it is, by golly. Sorry. There's an option. Same setup, it has middle bucket seats and a three passenger rear seat. Now the previous owner put some chrome on it, that's not center, but that looks pretty cool. On this side we looked at it really again uh, before we filmed it, Jason, and everything looks good on it. Uh, this window's been tinted, didn't come from the factory that way, but it really complements the color. I like that. Uh, now, real quick, these seats, these uh, middle seats are not um, heated like the Denali, okay? And they are not power folding. You have to do it manually. It works the same way, you just have to do it the old fashioned way <laughs> versus the button, okay? Uh, interior looks really good. We looked at the seats before we found it. They're um, ebony leather, same as the Denali. A little different fabric, but very comfortable seats. It's got an automatic climate control system, same as the Denali. It's got power pedals. It has a lot of options, again, that are very similar to what you see on the Denali. It has a power sunroof. No DVD player. One can be added, of course. No navigation system, as you can see. Uh, it has a, a I think it's a five-speed transmission versus a six. Um, let me get on that side.
Okay, uh, same as the Denali, it's got heated seats, memory seats, radio buttons on the steering wheel. Um, the two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, there's a little knob right here. You just turn it, um, as you may know, uh, from your car. If you're in two-wheel high and you want to go to four-wheel high, you just turn the button and off you go. And if you're in four-low, you have to come to a stop and click it in four-low. Um, nice car. I will check with the sales manager and see what we can do on this car in terms of price. I'll get an estimate on your trade and I'll uh, send that to you in a short while. Thanks, Jason.